This is a beautiful world. It's about standing in all of who you are while you have the chance. Heather Box and her husband, Julian Mosin McQueen, want you to share your story. We believe strongly that everybody has a story in them, with, without a doubt. These storytellers have coached people speaking at TED Talks and the United Nations. They started something called the Million Person Project. And in their new book, How Your Story Sets You Free, they reveal how to embrace the power of your own story. I think being willing and able to look at what's happened in your life, look at your story, look at the ups and downs, and then stand in who you're choosing to be. That's where the freedom is. Standing and saying, hey, yep, not proud of it, or yep, it was horrifying, and I wish it didn't happen, but here I am. I'm still here, and I'm still contributing. And in fact, I have more to contribute. That's the freedom, harnessing the power of your story and taking something that, when left unexplored, when left untold, might be a source of shame. But when you explore it and when you share it, it now becomes a source of power. Your story doesn't need to be big to be meaningful. And sharing your story can mean sharing it on stage, online, or just at home. So how do you find your story, the story that you want to tell? Well, they recommend starting by making something called a life map, actually mapping out your entire life on one large piece of paper from the very beginning to where you are today, using drawings and stick figures, ripping out pictures from magazines, magazines, anything you want to illustrate the many plot points and characters that comprise the story of your life, the beginnings, the endings, the turning points, the celebrations, the sadness, and all of your choices. The life mapping process is like you were panning for gold. It's that big scoop from the bottom of the creek. And then the process of uncovering the, the, the threads and the narratives that you want to share is like shaking that gold pan and seeing what rises to the top. There's somebody out there that needs to hear your specific story coming from your unique voice. We, we tend to discredit ourselves, our story, oh, or I don't have one of those stories, or my story is too personal, it's, and people stay really buttoned up. And what we, we, we deny the world our unique wisdom. Heather and Julian say shame is a big factor in holding people back from telling their story. It's interesting because a lot of people say that they have nothing to teach or that they, they don't really have a story. They don't think that anything that they've been through could really be helpful to somebody else. And then they start talking and they start doing their life map and we're, we're sitting there listening. And things like getting sober, having the courage to go back to school later in life, living with a disability supporting a family member while dying, speaking out about sexual assault, navigating racism, leaving a job because it wasn't right for you. All of these things, big and small, can be so incredibly helpful to somebody else. We always want to wait until we, quote, made it before we share our story. But really, these intimate stories coming from real people are what changes lives. By mining for gold, finding your audience, and rehearsing your narrative, Heather and Julian believe telling your story is a powerful way to make the world better. Most of all, your world. There's a personal liberation that comes from speaking your truth. We're used to keeping anything that's happened to us that we're not proud of. We're used to keeping that silent. In that silence, we keep ourselves small because we're not telling the world who we actually are. Because in some of the stuff that you have seen and that you have experienced, you have grown massively from that. And th there's wisdom right there that's just waiting to be shared. You can find out more about how your story sets you free online at abeautiful.world. I'm Heather McElhatton, and this is A Beautiful World, NPR News. Brought to you with help from the Polad Family Foundation.